Today I'm installing a 8 switch panel. Welcome back everyone. I hope you guys are all staying healthy and safe. As you guys know in the previous video we installed the 42 inch Cali Rays light bar onto my 19 Tacoma. However, we did not do the wiring. As I mentioned before, I will be doing a lot more lighting on my truck and then I just didn't want to have a crap ton of wires running through the firewall into a bunch of random switches. So today we're going to be installing this eight switch accessory switch panel onto the Tacoma. Now, full disclosure, this is the cheapest switch panel which I could find. Coming in around $190, I figured, what the hell, let's give it a try. And as a matter of fact, there isn't even a brand on it. I got this from the yodagarage.com. Um, it's advertised as a Cali raised switch. However, I'm pretty sure this is just some Chinese or Taiwanese generic switch panel. We're gonna give it a shot and see how it works. And it's going to be a lot better than running a crap ton of wires through the firewall. Worst case scenario, it doesn't work for me and we'll just send it back. But I'm pretty optimistic that it should work. Now. Before we get started, as always, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, drop me a like, let me know what you think about the build so far. Also, what do you guys think I should be doing next to the truck? I do have some more lighting on the way. Now, before we get started with this install, let's go ahead and see what's in the box. Okay, as always, there is an instruction manual, so there is a wiring diagram out here that's gonna be nice to use. Next up, we have the actual switch panel itself. Nice clicky switches, so you know it's high quality. Also, these are backlit, and I believe it's a blue light, so that might be kind of neat. We also do have stickers for these guys. Next up, it also comes with brackets. If you do want to mount this anywhere in your cab, I'm probably going to mount this where my little coin holder is on the left side of the dash. And I'll probably just use double-sized sticky tape, so I'm not drilling into my dash. Then we have our actual switch assembly. So one thing about this assembly to note after doing some research is that channel one and two have a maximum of 30 amps and then channels three through eight have a 12, 20 amp capacity. So that'll be pretty good with pretty much anything that we're gonna try to run through this as far as lighting. I'm not sure if we'll be able to run a air compressor through this. So I'll have to do some more research on that. We have some nice zip ties, another bracket. Um, looking at this, I'm going to assume this bracket is for this guy. So that should be nice to be able to mount this pretty much anywhere under hood. Let me show you guys the wiring harness. More wiring. We have an added fuse. I'm not sure why they provide this. I'm going to assume that you might be able to splice your backlight into this. So that way these guys turn on when you're turning your lights on. And then we have some, looks like 60 amp fuses. So that's pretty neat. And that's pretty much for what's in the box. Alrighty, so the first thing I'm actually gonna do here before I install the switch panel, I'm gonna just hook everything up temporarily to make sure that this actually works before I go through the effort and buttoning everything up. First thing I did was I took the power cable and the ground cable and just attached it to these little terminals here using the hardware provided. Hopefully you guys can see that. Next up, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hook up the actual LED lights to here. As I mentioned earlier, the first two channels here are 30 amps, the rest are 20 amps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up the big white LEDs to the 30 amp and then the two little ambers to the 20 amp right here. And also that way they'll be next to each other. That way this, this other 30 amp is left for maybe another larger light. So first up, let's hook up the lights. Those guys go in here. Here's my amber lights. Okay. Close this guy up. Perfect. Next up, I'm gonna take this little button panel and we're gonna hook this guy up. Finally, we need to add power to this. So I'm just gonna temporarily add these power cables to these terminals, just to touch them. It's not the safest, I don't recommend it, but this is what I'm doing, just a test. Okay, so this isn't working. Um, I'm gonna assume that this right here is a power cable. Um, as I mentioned earlier, there is a add a fuse, so we're gonna use the add a fuse on this. If this is a power cable to power this, um, in the meantime, I'm just gonna do this. There we have it, we have power on this guy. So theoretically, this one right here should be the big light bar, so it's tested. 
and there we have it that works I'm not sure if you guys can see it but it does work and then this guy right here is going to be our amber and that works as well perfect so now that we know that this works what I'm gonna go through I'll go through and do the actual install it'll be very simple we're gonna keep all the wiring as is I'm just gonna go through button everything up and then finally we'll run this guy through the firewall and hook it up over by the coin holder somehow. I'll probably end up using just some double-sided sticky tape here so I'm not drilling into anything. So let's get it done real quick. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take the wiring from the LED light bar and I'm just gonna run it across the firewall here and just attach it to this existing little wiring harness. So we're gonna try and make this look nice and clean. Next up, I'm gonna go through and attach this switch assembly to the chassis. I'm gonna use this bracket that came with the kit. Um, I did have to drill this out a little bit so I can actually use this bolt right here. And we're just gonna attach it to this guy here. I'm just gonna use one bolt and hopefully that will hold. So let's see. So I'll first attach this to the chassis, then we'll attach this to this. And then from there on, we'll work on the wiring. Okay, next up we'll take the switch assembly. Okay, I'm gonna leave this loose for a second. Um, I'll go through and tighten this down once we have all the wiring ran. All right, next up we're gonna do the add a fuse. I'm just gonna add it to this red wire, which we know powers up the wool buttons. Now, I don't want to hook this up directly to the battery, otherwise the little buttons will be backlit the entire time. So what we'll actually do with this add fuse, we'll add it into a relay or a fuse here that only turns on when we turn the truck on. So just like the panel or whatnot. Now that I have the add fuse done, next up what I'll do is I'll go through and I'm going to hook up the power cable and the ground cable right here. So I'll just do that real quick. Okay, I'm gonna hook up the ground right here. All right, now we got power ground. Next up, I'm going to find a location for this added fuse to make sure that we can light this guy up only when we're starting the truck. So that way it's not lit up all the time. So let's do that real quick. All right, next up, I'm gonna add this added fuse. Now for this added fuse, because I do want this only to be on when I turn the truck on, the only fuse that I can think of that might do this is the actual, I believe this is the fuel pump or the injector. So this might not be ideal, but I am gonna do that just for the time's sake. And then if you guys do know of a better place to add a set of fuse, let me know. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna add it here. Okay, so now that we have all this wiring done, next up, we need to feed this wire through the firewall for this little switch panel. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a screwdriver, I'm gonna drive it through the little plug in the firewall. I can't really show it on camera just because it's so tight. I am gonna take a picture and show you guys, but the plug is essentially right here. So we're gonna take that plug out, we're gonna drive the screwdriver through. On the other side, I'm gonna just tape this on and then pull it through. So that should be all we need to do. And then after that, we'll go through with mounting this on the cab. So I'll go through do this real quick and then I'll see you guys on the inside of the cab. Alrighty, so now I have got this cable ran through the firewall. Now what I wanna do is I actually wanna put the switch panel right here. Now there is brackets that come with this that you can actually like screw it into this. I don't wanna do that. Instead, I'm just gonna use this double-sided sticky tape right here, tape it on and drill through this little coin holder for the cable. So let's do that real quick. Again, this is the way I'm doing it just because I'm not trying to have to replace this in the future. 
So to pull this off, we're just gonna pull it right here. Grab my, grab my trusty panel removal tool. Perfect. Next up, I'm gonna grab this wire, feed it through. There we have it. Grab my drill. Drill a nice little hole right here. There we have it. Put this guy back in. Next up, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit and see if my double sided sticky tape will work on this. Okay, next up, let's plug this guy in. Okay, still works. Perfect. Next up, let's throw some double sided sticky tape on here and see if it'll hold. If not, we'll have to go back to a drawing board and I might have to use those brackets, but I'm counting on the sticky tape working, so let's give it a shot. right here, just for good measure. Okay, and bunch all this up in here. Try to get as center as possible. Press on down. I think that's gonna work. <laughs> there we have it. So next up, I'll just go through. I'm gonna zip tie this up. I'm gonna bunch it up, zip tie it up, and throw it down here with the rest of the fuses. Now, before I forget, we do have the switch panel secured. Wires are nicely tucked up. All the wiring is done. Final step is putting our little stickers on here so we know which light's which. So what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna take this windshield light I'm gonna throw this in the first spot. And then this is the amber light, so perfect. We have also a little amber sticker, so we'll do that guy here. And there we have it, all done. And there we have it, we are all done. Now this has been a relatively inexpensive way to add a switch panel to the truck, which will make it really nice as I'm adding more lighting onto my Tacoma. Now, at first I was fairly skeptical with this switch panel, thinking that it might not work due to the price point and it being a no name. However, so far I have been super pumped on it. The only thing I wanna note and the issue that I'm having is that on the actual switch panel, it is backlit and on there, there is an on off switch, which for me doesn't work. So as soon as I turn the truck on, the switch panel illuminates blue, which I don't mind. It's not intrusive or anything. So that's the only thing to keep in mind. Also, I will link below to where I got the switch panel from. And as always, if you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, like this video. And until next time, I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.